Hey guys, what is going on? It's Four is or Dave here, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm starting a new series. I've actually decided to start a completely new and like original series for my channel, which I'm going to be playing some iPhone games. This series is Pocket Games, as I said, iPhone games on the App Store, and hopefully I'm going to find some really cool ones for you to play. I've now got a way to record my iPhone. I got a new iPhone as well, so everything's all good and fast. So I'm really looking forward to playing this. So the first game we're going to be playing in this series is Hitman Ghost. This is obviously based off the Hitman games. This is made by Square Enix, this little game. But um, it's not like the Hitman games. Um, it's little kind of figurine characters moving around a board. It's more of a puzzle game, but still with the kind of assassination style to it. So anyway, let's jump into this and see what stuff is going on. Just turn down the volume a little bit. So even though I don't really know what's going on here, I'm just um, trying to figure it out. Okay. Okay, so you click and drag to move. Level 1 complete. Okay. Give me a sec, guys. I'm also got getting a um, stopwatch running just so I know how long we're running for. Okay. Okay, so what do these do? Oh, what does that do? Okay, so these are the different levels, I guess, sort of. I'm just kind of pressing random stuff. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm... I just, I, there isn't really much of a tutorial in this game, which is a bit annoying. Oh, one sec. Oh, okay, these are the levels. So this is like a world map. Okay. I get it now. I get it. Okay. Silly me. Oh, there's some people here now. It's not just me. Okay, so if we go behind someone, we assassinate them. Okay, seems to be pretty simple. So there's much of a tutorial, it's just kind of like you figure things out as you play. Okay. I'm hoping the recording software I'm using is working. It's a bit of a weird one. Okay. So. Where's if we go? Oh, God, okay. So coming head on from one of those blue guys, being one square away, kills you. So we have to go around, I'm guessing. If we come from the side, do we just kill him? Okay, so we kill him and then we go in. So if you're one space away from those guys, they come and hunt you down. So you've got to go from any direction apart from the way they're facing. And this is a cool game. The graphics are really nice. Like This could be a ball game which people could make. Um, it obviously wouldn't work automatically. Whoa, okay. So we can't go to the right, we have to go this way, this way, this way, across here, can't go up there, so we have to go around here and there, and there, there, we're just killing so many people, we're on like a killing spree at the moment, okay, and that's all the dudes dead, okay, so it's probably going to get to a point where it's a little bit harder, because at the moment, these guys don't move, so it's more just about you can just look and figure out where the hell you're going. So I'm guessing that's going to change it up a little bit. Some people swimming. So what's that? We obviously have to go to here. Um... Ooh, okay. Now we can go behind this dude. So that was a rock that we can throw to attract sound. Ah, not attract sound. Attract the guy by making sound is what I meant to say. That is awesome. Okay, let's get to level six. It's going to start getting a little bit harder, I think. Okay. So where do we need to get to? We need to get over to that top right corner. So we up here. Okay, it does it does like a, a three by three square where you throw it wherever you throw the rocks. Oh, 
What the hell? Oh, they moved to the rock. Please. If he goes there. Ah, uh, no, I can't do it now, I don't think. Oh. Double kill! Oh, that was awesome. But now I'm screwed. Because if I go here, I get caught. Okay. So it didn't work, unfortunately, that, that strategy. So let's try this. Let's try checking it there. That's going to catch off loads of people. Now can we get like, all of them over here? Oh, it's not going to get anyone. I got an achievement, though. God damn it. Okay. It's instantly got harder. Um, how about we try doing this first? Because this worked. See, now I can't. I need to get this guy to stay where he is. If I throw it there, he's just going to move to there, isn't he? And then I'm still screwed. I'm just going to slam that reset button because that ain't going to help. Okay, so I got all those guys. How about if I chuck it with that? Oh, one sec. <gasps> one sec. Oh my god, this might work. This is going to work. Triple kill. That must be an achievement. Really? Triple kill is an achievement? And now we can go to the end. Okay, so if it catches them, they'll keep moving around until they get to that spot. Oh. Well, that's a bit more strategy. Of course, uh, I'll be leaving a link to any of the games I play in these videos in the description if you want to go and check them out. Let's jump into level 7 and have a little look and see what we have to do here. Check my um, audio is still recording. And yeah, it's recording fine. Okay, so we've got lots of rocks here. And where do we want to throw these rocks? Let's try. Let's start off trying to throw in there. Okay, then if we go here. I'm gonna go kill all these guys. Oh, oh my god, that was so many dead people. Flash mob. And to the finish. Okay, that was... I, I had that one in my head. I had that one in my head. That was... That was pro by me. Not gonna lie. Okay, let's head on to level 8. Oh, lovely day at the tennis court. Oh, well, wow, there's some new dudes. Uh, like it, man, go. Don't ask me again. I do like it, but I'm in the middle of a game. Okay, we've got a new thing we can go to over there. What do these do? Oh. Wait, so do these guys just... Oh, I'm just dead. Okay, so these guys move into a line. Can we move within one of these guys? Okay, so, okay, so that's, that's a bad idea. That doesn't work. But that's the only move I can make. The only move I can make is that. So then, obviously, the next move I have to do is that. Then that. Then that. Okay, so they'll just move in a line. Damn it. We need to get that one moved down. So if we go up here, move over to the right. Move up, then up, then down. Then down, then up, then down, then up. And then we can follow this guy. Now to here. No! I messed up. Oh! So if we go to them, even if we go to from the front, it kills them. Oh, but if they come to you... Okay. It's a weird mechanic. But I think I get what I have to do now. I'm 
going for it. I'm speeding through it. So if we can drag him over here, we can then kill him. To here, to here, and then we go down. And what does that do? And we go through. And in. Okay, so we have to kill someone. Well, that's cool. So we had to kill someone. There was an assassination there. So next we're going to jump into level 9 and have a look. See what we're, so we're back in the tennis court. Is there another person we have to kill? Okay, we just, we just got another security guard. Okay, are these tennis balls like rocks. What's that? And why can't we go over there? Oh, we picked up a tennis ball, that's why. Um, okay, so that's the same as that. I don't get what the lunchbox is. It, it looks like a lunchbox. Oh. Damn it. I can't do this now. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, so we can change his like course. So we do that. It changes his course to go downwards. And if we do that and we put that here, change his course to go that way. There we go. And then we can just go around. So that's like manipulating kind of which way he's looking. So this game is continuously introducing new mechanics, which I like. I'll play a couple more levels. Keep the video relatively short, you know, I don't want to be covering too much of the game. I mean, I'm only scratching the surface here. We've got a load of levels in, in this, like, world, and then we've got a bunch of others that come up afterwards. So, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what this game holds. Okay. So, let's try and do this. Go here. Okay, so then... That's not very helpful, is it? I don't think. That's a completely useless rock, so let's start again and try and do it the other way because no point doing a useless rock. Okay, so now they'll move around there. But then that won't get them over here. And now we have this impossible job of trying to get through here. Of course, so that was a very silly idea. Let's go do this again though, because this did work. This got both of these dudes over here. I think the briefcase might just be an extra thing. It's like, if you can get the briefcase, then you're doing a good job, sort of. Okay, now if I go up here, and just go in between these two, this should work, shouldn't it? Oh, but I've done it the wrong time. Let's just keep doing this. Make him do a whole run back, and then... I must have to go there, he goes there, there. No, I've, I've missed... No! Why did I press the button? I just pressed the reset button, I didn't mean to. God damn it, at least I know what I have to do now. So you bring them round... So they get stuck in that little bit. And I've messed up. Again. It's an annoying game because you can feel like you know what you're doing and it's like, oh, wait, no, I don't. Even slightly. But I'm pretty sure this plan should work. It won't get me the briefcase. But it does get me... The level finished, which is what matters, obviously. Okay, chase this guy down here. Then we go up, and then we're basically home free. Yeah, collect briefcases is like an extra objective. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going to cut the video here. That's 10 levels done. That's 10 of the levels of this game. There's probably about, I don't know, maybe another 5, 6 or so in this. And then let's have a, just have a look at how many different worlds there are. Oh, that's cool. There's a, there's a lot. And there's more coming. So think of it like kind of cut the rope. Um, if you've ever played Cut the Rope, I'm pretty sure you have how there's like, you have all the different, you have like tons of levels in one and then you cut out the next one. Um, like, collect three more objectives or I'm not now, I'm guessing you have to pay to do that, so, but I'm not going to be doing that at all. So you've got to complete like 12 uh, levels, I think, to get inside there. Yeah, 12 out of 15 we've completed or something like that, maybe, I don't know, um, to get in there. Oh no, maybe that's objectives. Complete, yeah, complete three more objectives, because I thought I'd already complete, I don't complete ten levels, but I've completed twelve objectives. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed watching this first episode of Pocket Games. If you do want to play this game, I'll leave a link to the to it in the iTunes store in the link below, and then you can go check it out on your iPhone or iPad. It's a really fun game, really good puzzle game, really well made by Square Enix, of course, who make a load of awesome games. That's all I have to say, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.